This is Melinda from Art of Wigs, and welcome to Detangling 101. I'll be showing you how to detangle both curly and straight wigs in this tutorial. This wig is the Delilah, which is the longest style we carry. Wigs like this can tangle pretty easily, however they can be fixed to look as good as new, so not all hope is lost. Your bare essentials is a white tooth comb, though you can get some kind of detangling spray to help you out as well. Some popular choices include Motion's Oil Sheen and Conditioning Spray and Mane and Tail. I'm using this leave-in conditioner spray that we carry on our website. Some people spray their wigs with these kinds of products even before ever wearing the wig, and this can help making detangling easier later down the road. You'll want to start at the bottom and work your way up. Be gentle and work in small sections at a time. If you're too rough with it, you might stretch or break the fibers. If some spots are being particularly snarly, use your fingers to help pull sections apart or use some detangling spray. Here's how the wig looks after some combing. It hasn't really happened much to this wig yet, but sometimes wigs will get really frizzy around the ends and along the underside of the wig, especially around your neck area. The frizz at the ends is usually the result of overbrushing, while frizz along the underside is from rubbing against your clothes. With straight wigs, this is an easy fix. I'm using a cheese straightening iron, but a cheaper brand will work just fine. Our fibers can withstand 420 degrees, but I'm just working with 300 on this wig. Just take a small section and smooth it out, repeating over the area if necessary. If the fiber gets a bit too hot while you're working on it, you can use the comb and alternate between combing and straightening like so. So now my Delilah is as good as new. With long wigs, it's recommended that you tie the hair or braid so that it won't tangle easily while in storage. Curly wigs are a whole different monster. You don't want to comb them out like straight wigs because this could ruin the curls, especially with ringlets like this Victoria. What you want to do is work one ringlet at a time. Split the ringlet apart so you're working on smaller pieces. Before starting, wrap a curl around your finger so you can remember what direction it curls. Start at the bottom and gently work your way up with the comb. Since the sections were so small, I switched to a small tooth comb. Spritz with a detangling spray if needed, and use your fingers to work out any huge knots. Once you've combed this section of hair, wrap it around your finger and then carefully release the whole thing at once. If the piece is really wet from the detangler, you can use hairpins to pin up the curl as it dries. That way, the weight won't relax the curl too much. Repeat this on the other hair piece from the ringlet. Once both have been detangled, you can wrap them both around your finger together to combine them again. Repeat this on the rest of the wig. If you get a particularly frizzy area that you feel needs to be repaired, you can use a hair straightening iron or hair rollers with a hair dryer to fix them. I'll demonstrate at the end of this piece. I'm using my hair straightener to smooth out the section, and then very quickly I have to wrap the curl before it gets too cool. Hyperlon fibers hold their shape after they cool down, so wait a bit before you release the curl. And that's some basic information for detangling both straight and curly wigs. Thanks for watching.